battery's dead. I gotta recharge it. Stand by. And we're back. Welcome to episode 128 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly and I will be your host. And today we're talking about knowing the difference between I get to, I have to, and I choose to. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Lately, it's been easy to think of all the things we have to do. So I have to work from home. I have to wear a mask. I have to teach my kids at home. Uh, I have to rearrange my entire business model. I have to keep my team motivated and aligned remotely. I have to stay out of certain other states or my state won't let me come back in without quarantining for 14 days. That's a little extra one for those of you who live in New York who now are basically locked out of most of the country. I'll keep my thoughts on that to myself. I have to find a new job. I have to learn new skills. Like those are all largely pandemic related items and we're all very familiar with those. And then there are the things that we normally do that we would throw into the same bucket as I have to do. And those are things like I have to be present in my relationship with my spouse or significant other. I have to spend time with my kids. I have to go to church. Um, I have to give to those less fortunate. I have to read more books. I have to watch the news every day day so that I'm informed. Uh, I have to check my social media. I have to post my personal beliefs on social media. Actually, I have to say this thing or else other people will label me or maybe even cancel me. Or maybe it's I have to not say this or that or else other people will label me. Are you feeling stressed out yet? I hope that didn't stress you out too much. No wonder the United States is facing some of the highest levels of stress, anxiety, addiction, depression, obesity, divorce, suicide. How are we facing some of the highest levels of these things in the world and how does a country and a place with so much freedom succumb to so much bondage. I believe we can find some answers and some relief, hopefully, by understanding the differences between the things we have to do, the things we get to do, and the things we just choose to do. And most of this is a matter of perspective, meaning that we, you, me, we, have control over the situations that we feel have control over us. And when we feel that these other situations have control over us, well, that is what leads to the stress and the overeating and the anxiety and the depression and on and on and on and on. It's the feeling of lack of control. And a lot of that starts with our perspective. So as that long list I just read sinks in, I want to try to reframe some of it so that we can maybe have a different perspective and begin to separate ourselves from the pressures that this pandemic and life in general put on us. So if you have connected with any of those things that I read and you feel like you can agree with those things, maybe they are pressure filled, maybe they incite some level of guilt if that's the case, then maybe this could help you out a little bit. When you say, I have to do this, you are powerless against it. It makes you a victim to it. And look, sometimes you have to do things. And I'm not saying that there aren't situations where you have to, but they're very, 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 very few and far between. And most times in life, we make them every situation. I have to do that. I have to do this. And we'll talk about that in a second. I get to, when you say I get to, well, now you've switched from I have to, to I get to. And now that makes you a beneficiary, which is a lot different than a victim. Maybe not, I don't know if it's quite the opposite, but it's pretty close to the opposite. I have to makes you a victim. I get to makes you a beneficiary. And I choose to, once we move to I choose to, well, now this makes us a willing, thoughtful, and intentional participant. That's a big difference between victim to beneficiary to willing and thoughtful, intentional participant. So I'm going to ask, would just what do you think your life would look like if you had enough clarity to shift your perspective from have to to get to, or ideally even I choose to? 
can you imagine the difference that that makes in your everyday life when that comes to so many things? I mean, even look the ones that are closest to you, family, your health. I have to, I have to eat a salad for lunch. I have to spend some time with my kids when I get home from work. Is that burdensome that is? And when we start to change that, we feel less burdened and more free, free to be present. I get to spend some time with my kids when I get home from work. I get to choose what I eat. I get to. Actually, I choose to spend time with my kids when I get home from work. I just choose to because it's the most important thing. I choose to educate my kids at home. And whether or not they go back to school or not, that's still a choice that you make. And so, you know, when we're present and we're free to now enjoy the real blessings of the freedoms we enjoy and the real blessings of life, it can give us energy and empowerment in the midst of the challenges that we face. We're in a pandemic, right? A lot of people have lost their jobs, they're furloughed, their company is downsized, and I choose to learn some new skills. Actually, skills that I'm really interested in and skills that will make me more marketable and more valuable to the workplace. I could choose to. Which ones do I want to learn? What was the last time, you know, you had time to learn something that you wanted? I mean, for me, it's... Battery's dead. I gotta recharge it. Stand by. And we're back. Stinking batteries. I should have checked that. Rookie mistake. Okay, so um, getting back into it. When was the last time we had a chance to learn new skills? It's very difficult to have the time to learn new skills and understanding that you have the free time or you have the opportunity to learn something new. You, you get to learn something new. There's something new to learn and there's somewhere where you can learn how to do it. It's called the internet, right? You can learn how to do just about anything you want. And more than that, you can willfully engage and be intentional. It's like I choose to learn things that are going to make my life better, make me more marketable, uh, just bring more fulfillment in life. So what I want to do is go through the list again that I did in the beginning of the episode. And as I do, I want you to think of where each item currently lives in your mind. Is it a have to? I have to do this. I get to do this or I choose to do this. And then think, where do you want it to be? Some of them will still be, I have to, and that's okay. Some of them might move to, I get, I get to do this, perspective shift. And then some of them might be like, you know what? I'm gonna choose to do this. Or even better, I think it's even better as you go through the list to be able to say, I choose not to do this anymore. I think removing things from your life too, because you realize like, I, I wanna choose not to do it is equally, maybe even more effective than keeping it there because you feel guilted or shamed or otherwise feel like you otherwise have to do it. So I'm gonna go through the list one more time and uh, I want you to say, what I think about this is it a get to, have to, get to, or choose to, and then where do you want it to be? Okay, we're gonna start right at the beginning, right? Work from home, you have to work from home. Or actually, do you get to work from home? Or are you gonna choose to work from home, okay? Uh, rearrange your business model for this new climate of business. Personally, I'm excited that I get to. I moved from I have to, now it's I get to. Now I realize I'm choosing to do it intentionally and uh, intentionally never going back to the way it was. Uh, staying out of certain states or I'll have to quarantine for 14 days. Oh, that's kind of have to right there. That's a have to. Be present in my relationship with my spouse or significant other. Are you trying to do that just so there's not a negative response on the other side? Or do you realize like, hey, I have, I get to do that or choosing to do it because it's cultivating something to make sure my kids are involved in sports or other activities. There's a lot of pressure there. Um, oh, here's a good one. To watch the news every day to make sure I'm informed. And usually this means checking the news 10 times a day, turning the alerts on, making sure I know everything at every second. Oh, that's a tough one. How about this one? To check my social media accounts. Do I have to? Do I get to? Or do I choose to? Or maybe more importantly, do I choose not to? To post all my beliefs on social media. I feel like you have to do it. You feel pressured into it. I feel like you have to say certain things or else other people will label you. Or do you get to do that? Are you excited about it? It's an expression. It's what you enjoy. Or do you choose to do it or choose not to do it because you realize it does or doesn't bring real value to your life? Are you really doing anything? That's the decision everybody gets to make. And so with that whole list, I'm gonna kind of wrap things up. I know we're all busy, we have things to do, but I wanted to hit this little pause button today to go through the list and say, do we really understand the difference between I have to do this, makes us a victim, I get to do this, makes us a beneficiary, or I choose to do this, it makes us a thoughtful, intentional, willful participant. May you find more purpose and fulfillment this week as you pursue clarity in your everyday life, have to, get to, choose to, 
I choose to see you next time.